Hello everyone. Today I'm taking these horrible wheels off my workbench so that I can put something on that's actually going to work. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's the wheels I have on. I have these pivoting wheels on both ends. This is one end of the bench. I have exact same thing on the other side. And pivoting wheels are hard to manage. But these wheels are bad because in a small workshop, when I want to move my bench just a little bit, maybe I've got it in the wrong position and I just want to manhandle it and move it one way or another. And look at what happens. This wheel is just engaged now. Look at how easy it is to move around now. I don't have to put any effort in that. And that's because those wheels engage. See that? It's engaged automatically. What I have to do now is come over and bring them down again. So if I just want to move the bench a little bit, they engage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all of these wheels off. See that? It's, it, it locks. So I'm going to take all of these wheels off. I'm going to put just one pivoting wheel on one side and two fixed ones on the other. Now I just tested this three quarter inch plywood. I'm going to use this as a base to mount the, the fixed wheels on. Uh, there's a tiny bit of spring to it, but I think it's going to be fine and I can replace it easily if I want. So what I need to do is to mark these and I'm just going to start off by putting one in there to start and then I want to align this because I want to make sure that these wheels are going to be nice and even. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark each one of these and put some screws in and then we'll go on to the next step. So there's the scissor jack that I picked up at the auto rack. As you can see there's a tiny bit of surface rust on there. I'm not even going to worry about that. So there's my wheel base, my fixed wheel base. Now what I want to do is to mount this onto my wheel base and then I will drill holes in each side of here, one in each side. That will be fixed to my workbench and then when I spin this uh, scissor jack up and down. When I spin it down, of course, the wheels are going to go down onto the push the workbench up and go down onto the floor. Okay, run into a little bit of a glitch here, but I think we can overcome that. And here's what my glitch is. What I neglected to think about is because this is a scissor jack and as it goes up and down, these arms here, they're going to collapse and get closer together and further apart. Now, I looked at it and I thought, you know, I think there's enough wiggle room here that I can still do this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to tighten these screws when I put it into the workbench. I won't tighten them really tight. Um, there'll be a little bit of play in them and when I do this, when I raise it, and you can see that there's a tiny bit of play here in these arms, but look, I still have tons of room that I can move these up. There's, well, almost an inch there. I That's way more than I'll ever need. And when I put it down, of course, this is the floor. This would be the floor. So as I wind it down, I can wind these wheels down and they will, they will touch the floor, which is what they're supposed to do. But the alternative to this is you would have to use, you can't really see because my hand, but you would have to fasten this to the, to the top of the bench. That way you could move it up and down a foot if you wanted to do that, uh, but you couldn't move the arms. But in my case, I'm going to go ahead. The only way of knowing this for sure is to actually do it. And uh, I think that's going to be fine. So I'm going to put it in the closed position or the up position and I'll attach that to the workbench and we'll try that out. Okay, I just 
took a moment and attached this on and I've taken a second to bring it down and it's it's actually working it's actually working quite well better than I expected so there's there you can see that that's working there you know I'm just I'm still not really happy with it but it's better than what I had before so until I can come up with a better improvement maybe somebody out there's got some ideas on something that we can improve this with because I think there's something here but um, these jacks they're a little floppy on there too but anyway let's go around to the front of this and do some work on that so the front by comparison is going to be pretty easy because all this is is a trailer jack and I I'm not sure if it's all assembled or not I got this on sale for like 30 bucks 35 dollars or something um, and basically it's just going to I just I think I just need to put a 2x4 or something across the front of my workbench and literally just clamp this on okay I'm going to have to do a little bit of assembly here but that's there you can see that's what it looks like and I was hoping when I bought this that I'm going to have enough room for the jack and everything the assembly and I think I'm going to have tons of room the other thing that I was afraid of a lot of these jacks have a crank on top I needed to make sure that I got a a crank on the side because they are obviously you can't crank on the on the back because this is going to be basically right here is going to be right up against the workbench so um, I think that's good so I'm going to put this together okay I've got that trailer jack on this side there's a little bit of play in that but that should be all right let's um, let's give this a whirl and see if this is going to work there's a little bit of slop in this this car jack as well, a scissor jack. But let's raise these wheels up. Give this a try here. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's a lot easier. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at how easy that is. It just pulls away. I don't have to worry about it. You can reposition it anywhere. Usually I'm just going to, often I'm just pulling it right out of the way just like that. It's easy to reposition. Oh yeah. There we go. I like that. That's good. That's working very well. Uh, there, it's right solid on the floor. And this side. There we go. Oh. oh, that's better. That's still not perfect. It could use a little bit more work. I'm not crazy about that scissor jack. It works, but it's a little bit, it's a little, they're a little floppy. Anyway, it's way better than what I had before, that's for sure. Okay, it's the next day. I worked all day on getting this bench mobile to a place that I like it. But there is one thing that kept bothering me, and I thought if I just leave it alone and think about it out overnight, maybe I'll come up with a solution. Here's the problem. So here's the scissor jack side here, and I thought these were more stable than they are but they actually move around a fair bit and they have to because they you know they scissor like that so here's what happens see this motion here I can get this motion and that's because I have the wheel the single wheel up on the other side now what I thought about overnight is I could stabilize this by just I'm going to just experiment with it. I'm going to drive a screw underneath this side and another one under the other side. Then when I push the scissor jack down and they touch the screws on both of those sides, that should stabilize that so that I don't get that movement going back and forth. So that's what I'm going to try and see if that solves the problem. Okay, I just put a couple of screws under there. So I need to lift this up and take out 
my shim, which is under the feet here. Now that's pretty, there we go. All right, now I need to raise it up a little bit. There, that's where there's, now that should not move. Oh, it's still moving a tiny bit, but that's, let me see if I, it's right down on those screws there. Yeah, this one here could go down a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, now what's that do? Now uh, there's still a tiny, tiny bit of play, but not like there was before. I think that's going, I think that's going to make it better. You know, I could even put a little block in there and just glue that in there. But I think I'm going to try this for a while with these screws and make sure that that's going to fix that. All right, let's try this now and see. Oh yeah, that's better. That doesn't have, oh, that doesn't have any sway now. That's nice and steady. Now, this is typically the area where I want to move it, is to pull it up in this area here. So that's great. And I can reposition it just like that. There we go. Oh, that's better. Yeah, there's still a tiny bit of sway there, but not bad. Back a little bit. Drop that down. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Yeah, and I can nudge it around if I need to without the wheels engaging so that's perfect that is so much better oh man well that concludes my video for today and you know I am so much happier with these new wheels on there I just can't tell you uh, how many times I've had to get down on my hands and knees to unlock those wheels that sort of locked up on their own because the only way of doing that is to actually get right down and lift the wheels up with your hands uh, just very annoying now I don't have to worry about that and I've actually figured out a solution for using a scissor jack and keeping it stable uh, or much more stable anyway I'm going to try this for a while and I think I'm probably going to end up putting some gluing some little blocks in there and making that permanent so I'm pretty happy with the way that whole thing has turned out so I'll put a link in if you want to have a look at that workbench. I love this little workbench. It's super rigid, made out of plywood, uh, and I made that a couple of years ago. I'm in love with the size of it and, and now how mobile it is and so on. So it might be something you want to look at, especially if you're working in a small shop like I am. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.